love the hills. Chop tree. How you guys doing? What's up? What's poppin'? Is the camera situated right? So what's up guys? Another video back at it again, you feel me, Nemo game. Drip of the day, fucking paradise shit. I'm gonna start doing drip of the days again. Like, I, I've, I've realized that, like, I've been slacking on the drip of the days, my bad. But, um, I got this cool paradise shirt with some black pants. I was gonna wear a hat, but my hair doesn't look too bad. Uh, it doesn't look too bad today, so I didn't put a hat on. So that was a fucking lie. Today, we're making an anti- Simp tier fucking list, guys. Okay, <laughs> listen here, guys. So, I have picked 13 candidates, these are the profits of the book of misogyny. Okay, <laughs> these are the mini profits. All these guys have categories that make them anti simp. Okay, for those of you that don't know what simp means, let me look it up. <laughs> simp. Someone who will say anything to please someone, particularly a girl, in the hopes that they will be in good favor with that person, okay? So it's basically a nigga that do anything for some pussy. That's basically it. So these are the candidates of these niggas that don't roll like that. <laughs> so I've marked it first at the top, gods of misogyny, okay? These are the, these are the top tier misogynists. <laughs> Wait, oh, by the way, every, all of this is a fucking joke, okay? So don't take this too seriously. Like, this video obviously is just a fucking joke. <laughs> but these are the gods of misogyny, okay? These are the people, this is the top tier. These are the niggas that don't care about no bitches. Bitches can't hold them down, can't touch them. And they just do their shit, okay? <laughs> they do their business. They never be caught simping ever. These are the anti-fucking simps. We got gods of misogyny, we got the S tier, A tier, B tier, and the fucking C tier. All right, guys. So let's do this. Let's fucking do this. This is the list right here. So I'm gonna go from right to left, cause why not? So first up, we got Brian from Family Guy. Okay. This is the first candidate, bro. Shit. Now, where should I put him? Brian from Family Guy. <laughs> not S tier. You know what? I'm gonna put Brian as B tier. Brian as B tier, okay? So I'm putting Brian as B tier. Brian is a dog. <laughs> and he was fucking bitches. Human versions of bitches. <laughs> he wasn't fucking no. He was fucking other dogs, but like, I think that was only in one episode. But this is a dog that was having sex with humans. First of all, that's bestiality. So. He literally got girls to perform illegal acts in this fucking show, guys. Think about it. Think about it. He's a dog, and there are humans on the show. He's a talking dog, and he was fucking with humans. He was literally, his sauce was so supreme. His sauce at getting females was so supreme, he was getting them to commit crimes just to sleep with him. Like, come on. That's a good fucking, that, that's a B. So I put him at B. Because he was, he has been caught simping before. I, I, I've like, I don't even watch Family Guy in order. I just watch like random parts of Family Guys. But I remember some episodes where this nigga was simping over some girl. Like he was actually trying to take care of her or whatever. But that wasn't that much. You feel me? He didn't simp as much. So that's why he wasn't on it. I put him on B because he was, he did caught, he was caught simping a couple times. But. Because of his dogness and he was catching females like almost every episode, a different female. Trick the blind bitch. <laughs> Trick the blind bitch that didn't even like dogs to mess with him, bro. He deserves the B tier. Definitely. So Brian got this one on the B tier. Up next, we got Tristan Thompson. I will also put him at the B tier. Tristan Thompson is at the B tier for me. Tristan Thompson, what do we gotta start with this man? This is I don't know about his other activities, okay? But this nigga been cheating. <laughs> this nigga been cheating. Like, he cheated on his ex-baby mama for Khloe Kardashian, and she expected him not to cheat on her. Like, I don't get the correlation. But um, <laughs> then he cheated on her, too. The thing about Tristan Thompson 
is he knows how to play these females. You feel me? I don't think once in his whole cheating career that Tristan Thompson was blamed by his baby mamas. Literally, they found other people to blame. Like Khloe Kardashian, for example, she went at fucking Jordan Woods hard for it for the for the kissing thing, whatever. Even though he was the one cheating, you feel me? And this isn't his first act. This nigga been cheating like <laughs> on Jordan. He cheated on what? He then he get with those two other females or something like, bro. This nigga been this nigga been doing shit, but he still has not gotten blamed. Literally, Chloe was ready to take this nigga back. She was blaming Jordan on everything, even though he was a cheater. So that's why he's at the fucking beats here. Cause if he can play a female for literally like your fuck us, but you get her somehow twist her mind into thinking that it was the female's fault and not his, then you're a fucking B-tier ass nigga. You, you B-tier. You, you up there with Brian, bro. You're not, you're not C. You're not A because you were, like, you, you, I mean, I guess it's because he had kids and stuff. But he was, like, apologizing in public, blah, 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 blah. So he obviously did give a fuck. That's why he's at B-tier. <laughs> but, um... He still manipulated this girl into thinking that he wasn't to blame. And that gives him some points. Gives him some extra points, guys. So, congrats just Tristan Thompson. B tier. So, you the prince of misogyny right now. You're not a king. But you you a prince right now. You know? Up next, we got fucking Sasuke. Sasuke is at the A tier. Guys, Sasuke. Actually, Sasuke might even be S tier, actually, bro. Actually, Sasuke might be an S tier, guys. I mean Sasuke S tier. Guys, this nigga Sasuke had females on his dick from the start. I'm talking from the jump he had females. And he did not give a single fuck about any one of them. Any one of them, bro. That fucking, what's her name? I forgot her name. That's how much I hear, bro. Sakura? So Sakura been on this nigga dick, bro. This nigga said no every time. She literally professed her love to him and this nigga said get out your feelings I don't give a fuck <laughs> I'm playing that clip right now like, I'm so in love with you I can't even stand it if you would only be with me I promise I'd never let you regret it every day will be a joy I can give you happiness I'll do anything for you Sasuke take me with you Sasuke <laughs> You haven't changed. You're still annoying. And this nigga, this nigga literally said, I do not care that you care about me, okay? She, he said, keep it moving. Keep that crush shit away from me. And this nigga been that anti simp bro. He's the, epit he's almost the epitome of anti simp bro. If you guys, if you guys are having trouble, and you're simping on the time, and you're like, damn, I need to change, bro. Look at Sasuke as an example. Sasuke is the perfect example for you, bro. Learn from his ways, bro. All he wanted to do was kill his brother, okay? And he worked on that shit. He worked on that shit. He didn't give a fuck about anyone else. He just wanted to become stronger. And he focused on himself. Focused on himself. He ignored all the females and all the distractions, bro. Come on, bro. He was closer to Naruto. To, no, he, he had more of a romance with Naruto than any of these bitches, bro. Because this Naruto was pushing him to be better, bro. That's what you got to do. Focus on the people that make you better. Don't focus on these hoes, bro. That's what Sasuke did, bro. Be like Sasuke. Yo. Congratulations. Sasuke is at the S tier. Anti-fucking simp. Up next, we got Roger from American Dad, okay? Roger to me is a C tier. He's a C tier. He's a C tier. Cause Roger was fucking. Not gonna lie, Roger was fucking dudes. Roger was fucking females. Roger was fucking whatever he could. Literally, he was a monster. <laughs> On that show, I don't remember a single episode where this nigga was not fucking something. <laughs> he was always fucking something. He was. He literally dressed up as other people just to fuck other people. You feel me? <laughs> Like, this nigga really took lints, but, like, I don't know. Something about him, man, I just don't get that anti-simp vibe from him. I feel like he does all this f for, like, personal issues. Like, I feel like he has an identity crisis or something. Like, he can never be himself, you feel me? And that, that to me, doesn't make you anti-simp. 
you are anti sim because he was fucking all the time and like he kept he kept chasing and as soon as he got them he dropped them but like i don't know man i feel like feelings were involved in that bitch bro feelings were involved in that bitch man so that's why he's at c but congratulations roger for making on the list up next we got rigby from regular show i don't put rigby at b rigby at b with brian and tristan thompson bro rigby did not give a fuck about hoes. That's the worst. That's the best part about Rigby. <laughs> Rigby did not give a fuck about hoes. And he wasn't even doing nothing serious. <laughs> this nigga Rigby was literally the laziest nigga I've ever seen in like cartoon history. And he did not give a fuck. Like even though he was like not doing anything. He still didn't give a fuck about these hoes bro. Like you think like maybe you're bored like okay yeah let me try to get a couple baddies to come over or something like that. This nigga did not give a fuck. <laughs> this nigga just wanted to hang with his friend bro. He just wanted to hang with fucking Mordecai all the time. Wanted to have fun all the time bro. Like he was just chilling bro. He did not give a fuck about females. That one bitch, the little platypus bitch, I forgot her name. But like he only got her after like she chased him for a while like. But he didn't like to be honest. I don't think he really cared about her either, bro. Like, he was literally rejecting her time and time again. I think they got together, like, at the end or something. But all I remember, this nigga Rigby did not give a fuck about no bitches, bro. Mordecai was simping hard. Like, if we had a simplest, Mordecai would probably be at the top. But this nigga Rigby was not with Mordecai on that bitch. On that female shit, Mordecai... <laughs> on that female shit, Rigby kept telling this nigga Mordecai, bro, chill, bro. Chill. <laughs> He said, chill, bro, you being too wild. You chasing too many females. Calm down. This nigga Mordecai did not listen, bro. So Rigby was about his shit, bro. So that's why he's at the B tier. That's why he's on the anti simplest Up next, bro, we got Rice Gum, okay? Listen here, guys. If you watch Rice Gum, if you watch his streams, you guys know he deserves the A tier. He deserves the A tier. That's him. Rice Gum? Got a girlfriend and he made his girlfriend sign a fucking contract. You know what? This nigga's not even at this nigga's at S tier, bro. This nigga's at S tier. This nigga got a, his first girlfriend and he told that bitch, yo, sign this contract just to make sure you don't mess with my bag. Literally, that's what the contract was. Contract literally was if you get popping off me, I'm gonna make sure I'm getting a percentage of you because you're making the money off me. And this nigga got the check. This nigga's getting money from his ex-girlfriend, bro. You ever heard some shit like that, bro? Imagine getting paid because you made a bitch sign a contract before dating her. And he's getting paid off that. Like, that's crazy to me. That's the S tier. S tier. Anti-fucking simp. Even though he had a girlfriend, bro, that's an anti- Like, bro, simp- Having a girlfriend doesn't make you a simp. Okay, let's get that out of the way. But the way you act around- your girl, and if you change your personality for your girl, that does make you a fucking sip. And this nigga never switched up for anyone, bro. This his girl did not want him to do live streams at all. Like, cause what Rice Gum does is basically he hops on live stream and he calls the females, and then he just talks to them and like you know horny niggas on the chat always asking weird questions. So he asks his weird questions, <laughs> but like he's been doing it. You feel me? And like his girlfriend came in and he did not switch up for her. Like that's literally one of the like there's literally streams where his girlfriend be screaming at him like why are you still on the call? This nigga's like bro business is business. You not gonna mess with my bag. You not he told her you not gonna mess with my bag, okay? She said relax, okay? <laughs> and this nigga deserves S tier for that, bro. Like literally. Congratulations to Rice Mike. This nigga does not give a fuck about these females, bro. I swear to God, bro. Like, I, if you guys watch his streams, bro, you gonna realize this nigga does the shit that he be saying to these females. He be disrespecting the females in front of their face, in front of their face. I'm telling you, bro, in front of their face. Like, he does not care at all. Even if he knows he has a chance of fucking, like, he does not care. He'll disrespect a female. He'll talk shit about her right in front of her face, bro. <laughs> Cause he doesn't care. And these females still want him. Yo, y'all. Y'all shameless out here. Just saying, you clout chasers out there, y'all shameless. Like, this nigga really doing that to y'all and y'all still chasing him? Like, that's just sad. But anyways, S tier fucking rice them. Congratulations. Hi, Reggie. This nigga was performing miracles. This nigga was turning water into wine. 
This nigga was healing the lame. This nigga resurrected someone else. This nigga came back to life from death. And you don't think the bitches were on him, bro? Bro, all the villains. Fuck all the love, bitch, I got my chops in order Ay. Got a lot about the corner I'm rocking quality shit that your dad wear Fuck out your feels, ain't no cash there I'm with Frosty, dodging ops in a whip Fairly odd bitch and she grantin' my wishes All your hoes want me, I'm cut like a brick Flippin' the 